Hey everybody, it's Rick Rolls here, and welcome back to Persona 3 Fest. In the last episode, we officially joined the Specialized uh, Extracurricular Execution Squad, or CEASE for short. Junpei is revealed to house the same powers as us and joins the club as well. Remember, CEASE is a school club, very important to remember. We come to school just before midnight to watch it transform to Tartarus during the first hour. Uh, sorry, during the dark hour. In this episode, we're leading Yukari and Junpei into the real entrance. Or, at least I think the real entrance is the Tartarus. Uh, they're ready, and I guess I'm ready too, because we walked around at the last episode- in the, in, the, in the end of the last episode. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Are you ready? <laughs> Hold on! Yes, I'm ready. Good luck. Thank you, I need- it. what are they coming with her? Block one, block number one, go to the next block? What, what? So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. I don't know if that's sarcasm or not. <laughs> now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was definitely sarcasm, judging by the text. Practice makes perfect. You got it. Right! Got it. Why is she always like that? What? Still don't get it. Still don't get it. Let's begin. Keep in mind, these are real battles you'll be engaging in. Now, see if you can eliminate all the shadows wandering out on this floor. You, you, you hold the bow like that? Okay, oh, okay, they follow, okay. You can rotate the camera as well. Okay. Oh, ooh. Some blood, nice, hopefully it's not ours. Are you an enemy? the hell? You're, you're like a briefcase. Obtained medicine. Y'all yeah, just leaving medicine around in briefcases, SMH. Watch out. I detect a shadow in front of you. Move it and hit it before it attacks you. Press the X button to use your weapon. Thank you. Help! If you can hit an enemy before it hits you, then you'll have the advantage at the start of the battle. X-ray, yeah, okay. Stabby, stabby! Takeda has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Don't talk to me, talk to Takeda, alright? Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. The primary offensive options available to you in battle are attack and skill. Attack corresponds to the weapon you've equipped, while skill relates to your persona's abilities. Though skills consume either stamina or spiritual power, they tend to have a greater effect. Use whichever option best suits the situation. Keep attacking until you've defeated the enemy, but pay careful attention to your stamina. That's it for now. Did you get all that? Uh, so sorry, uh huh? Okay, then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. At least I have a better weapon now. Oh my god, this music. Tactics? Okay. Uh, yeah, attack. Cowardly Maya, you bastard. Come here. Ah, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's see your attack, Mr. Katana Boy. Go, Junpei. Go, Junpei. Oh. oh, yeah. One enemy remains. 
What? Uh, yes, thank you, Mitsuru. But, like, there's always been one enemy. Yes, get that cowardly Maya. <laughs> Look, what does that just say? Wham? Alright. Like, fire damage. You're really gonna get it today, bud. Oh, oh yeah, okay. What a stunning victory. Snuff soul. Huh. Now, I'd like to mention that, um, people who have played this game might be a little confused why I was able to attack with, um, the different characters, because apparently, now, I've never played the original version of Persona 3 Fest or Persona 3 or Persona 3 Portable, but apparently Persona 3 Portable, that is the only version of the game that lets you attack with each character in your party separately, because in the original Persona 3 and Persona 3 Fest, again, Supposedly, I do not know officially. You only attack with Yuki. You are not. You're not. You can't attack with your party members. I am using some kind of like cheat code or something. But basically, it's it's a code injection into my um into the emulator that I'm playing this on that allows me to play with basically I, what it seems to be Persona 3 portables like attack system, sure, where you can select multiple people and actually, like, let them actually make their moves for them instead of them choosing themselves. I worded that poorly. It's not scripted. Not, not a lot of this is scripted. I don't script anything past the opening, so I apologize. Okay, where were we? There should be a staircase nearby. Do you see it? A staircase is the only way to proceed to the next floor. I can't allow you to go any higher today, but please remember about it next time. Okay, one, one thing that's a little annoying is the the camera stick is very binary. There's another shadow ahead of you. You'll be at a disadvantage if the enemy gets the first hit in, so try to surprise your opponents and strike first. Okay. If you're able to strike the enemy before you are spotted, then you will gain the initiative. Thank you, help! On the other hand, if the enemy hits you first, the opposite will occur. How about we just back off for a second here? Yeah, so the stick, this is the stick. This is me tapping the stick lightly one way. This is, this is me tapping the stick fully the other way. The exact same. The bumpers also do the same thing, so... I'd, I'd rather if the camera was smoother, just for, you know, more pleasurable viewer experience for you guys, but I can't seem to do that. Okay. Hello, enemy. Oh, he noticed me. That's fine. Now's a good time for me to explain about attack properties, which are important to consider during battle. You got it. Do you want to know more? That's our... Yes, please. Nearly every type of attack is associated with a particular property. For example, swords can be used to do slash attacks, while bows are used to do pierce attacks. Okay. Skills, on the other hand, have different properties. Bufu, for instance, indicates an ice attack. Sure. Now, most enemies are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. In other words, they have weaknesses. A fire skill will deal greater damage to an enemy that's weak against fire. With my power, I can analyze an enemy to determine its weaknesses and strengths. That falls under tactics. Okay. First time an enemy is analyzed, you may have to wait a while for the results. Thank you, help. And from then on, whenever you analyze that particular enemy, you'll receive the results right away. While you're selecting your target, if a question mark appears above the enemy, then that particular enemy has not been previously analyzed. You can select Analyze from the Tactics menu or press the L1 button to issue this request. Do you follow? Do you follow? Uh, 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 Yes. The enemies you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Why don't you give it a try? Um. Yeah, you know what? Oh. Uh, they're both the same, so I'll just analyze the enemy. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. 
Yeah, okay, so in tactics here, you can see that you can assign a certain target to uh, your certain party members to certain targets and act free, or to choose to just act freely on their own accord. And that's likely because it's a relic of um, this mod that can't just change the UI suddenly, so I probably shouldn't touch that. Now, I happen to know the skill. I think Fire actually did do weak damage to them, right? So if I just cook one of them alive, we'll do pretty good. You exploited the enemy's weakness! Uh, okay, do I get, do I get another one? Do I get another move? I mean, I'll, I'll just stab him. What's your skill? You got, you know, slightly restores one ally's HP. Heal yourself! Jinpei, you're looking pretty alright, so maybe I can just heal myself? Augie skills? Why, of course, Mitsuru. Come on, I come prepared. Two enemies remain. Don't get careless. We've always had two enemies, girl. Come on. Cleave deals light slash damage to one foe. Oh, yeah? Well, take this. Only one more. What do you mean light? It did more damage to my freaking weak. Alright. Use an item. Oh, to heal and stuff. Medicine. Oh, okay, I see. Oh god, the freaking icon wheel is difficult to deal with. Also, I just realized something with the UI here. This is a revolver chamber that I'm moving around right now. And the one that's being circled is the barrel. That means I'm chambering that round. Very, very slick. Very slick. You know... <sighs> gotta use this one again, this one's pretty funny. <laughs> hey man, come on, I just hurt myself just to beat you. Um, actually, healing might, might be a good idea. Again, that is horribly contradictory. I don't like how you have to shoot yourself in the head to heal me. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, well your sword seemed pretty useful earlier. Probably because I'm not letting it die, I could've just killed it just a moment ago. There we go. Keep up the good work. Revival bead. Sounds useful. Alright. Ooh, an item. What's that light over there? Sorry, oh god, the camera. There seems to be a shadow just around the corner. Approach carefully to avoid being spotted. The map will prove to be quite useful as you explore, so use it often. Let me get this item first. Or at least what seems to be an item. Hey, more medicine! We'll be okay, don't worry. It's like a tutorial. This is a tutorial version of this level anyway, so... Alright, there we go. We got the initiative, or whatever it was called. Were you able to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle? If you didn't already notice, doing so will also grant you an additional attack. Oh, okay, thank you. I didn't understand how attack turns work at all, so thank you. Would you like more details? Yes, please. An enemy will lose its balance if you exploit its weakness or land a critical hit. Okay. This will give you the opportunity to perform an additional action. It's kind of like flinching. In other words, you'll get to do one more thing. You get to do one more thing. You can keep attacking the same enemy, or if you prefer, attack a different target. And if you succeed in knocking another enemy off balance, then you can act yet again. Oh wow, okay. Which means, you can remain on the offensive for as long as you can keep this up. This strategy is essential to securing victory. Okay. However, remember this. An enemy that's already lost its balance cannot be knocked off balance again. Okay, okay. You can't knock down someone who's lying on the ground, right? It's the same idea. Now, to knock an enemy off balance, you need to know its weaknesses. So don't hesitate to ask me for an analysis. I'll be sure to share the results with the others as well. Got it? Uh, I'll not re- yup. Then, proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. Okay. Uh, sure thing. 
Yes. The awesome. enemy is vulnerable. Attack. So now I could choose to do that, or I can keep using SP and stunning all of them. And now I have one more again, right? So then I could do it again? I don't know if this is efficient, but what the hell. Struck the enemy's weak point. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Relent and attack. Okay, yeah, of course we'll attack. You have the potential to grow even stronger. Mysterious cards have appeared in your mind. Because of course they do. You wonder if this was what Igor was talking about. After battle, you will occasionally have the opportunity to select a card from the one shuffled before your eyes. If you pick a card with a persona on it, then you will receive that persona. Thank you, help. There are other cards, each of which have a unique ability or effect or reward. Keep an eye on the card you want and try to pick on it. Good luck myself on editing that part. Okay. Do I have to press a button? Okay, come on, I can't select anything, so... Uh... I want this one. But the, you've chosen the card with the Persona Pixie. You have welcomed Pixie into your heart. Sure thing. Want a snuff soul? Yuki Makoto felt a surge of energy inside. Your hit points and spirit points have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level 3. Yes! My skill level has increased! Ta da da da! I'm the man! <laughs> okay. Obtain medicine. You sure are, Junpei. You sure are. I think those don't have any significance. Now, the only way to save, I think, was at the clock, right? Yeah, okay, just curious. Yo, I got $26 to my name, hell yeah. I can buy all the strudels I want. I detect a shadow up ahead. How are you feeling? If you or another party member is in bad shape, then use healing items prior to engaging the enemy. If you don't have anything on hand, then ask Takuma to heal you. You should have a habit of checking your status before entering into a battle. If you or another party member has a persona with healing skills, be sure to take advantage of it. Thank you, help. Um, I'm guessing in here, maybe status. Not, not quite. Skill. I missed that one. Uh, oh here. Uh, Jinpei. Oh, yeah, he's looking just fine now. Alright, we'll be fine. Oh, yeah, there's the bugger right there. Ooh, he's a little dangerous looking, eh? I don't know if I did anything, but I tried. I tried sneaking. There is a better way to defeat all of your enemies in battle than to attack them individually. Do tell, do tell. You can perform an all out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? Yes, I would. When enemies are thrown off balance, they become vulnerable. An all-out attack will allow your entire team to attack simultaneously. Your enemies will be unable to defend against it. It's a very reliable method of attack. Whether or not you want to perform an all-out attack is up to you. But remember, you cannot perform it when you're alone. Okay. So if you want to have it in your arsenal, make sure your team is comprised of at least two members. That's all you need to know about all-out attacks. Do you understand what I've just explained to you? Um, yeah. Then, that concludes the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell you. Shadows become stronger the further you advance. If you don't think you can win a battle, retreat at once. There may be times, however, when an escape will be impossible. Very vague, but thank you. This battle is one of those times. Good luck. Where escape is impossible? Uh, okay. Enter without doing anything. Well, I mean, I don't know how long we're gonna be here in here for, but I'm sure recovery items shouldn't be too hard to come across. So let's go all out here to make sure that we actually get away with this. Yes, 
The enemy is one more. Attack! Actually, is there any way to switch, like, characters? No, okay. Yeah, I'm just keep doing this. You exploited the enemy's weakness! Overlapping audio quality. Okay, it's a, it's a left to right selection system. Okay, not directional. You struck the enemy's weak point. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Uh, sure, Junpei. I agree. You have the potential to grow even stronger. Two Oracle. Wait, why don't I get the same persona? I don't recall. Does it make it more powerful? I think it was. That's what I thought I picked. Hell yeah. You've chosen the car with the persona pixie. You already have this persona. The card vanished. Okay. I see. I thought it was some kind of weird thing where you put them together. Maybe it makes yes! it better. My skill level has increased. Da -da -da -da! Junpei is leveled up. Oh god. <laughs> Good on you, Junpei. I'm proud of you. Actually, I might start using the bumpers, honestly. That's odd. Usually, there are more shadows on the prowl. Well, at least you gained some experience in battle. Let's go back to the dorm for today. There should be an access point somewhere on that floor. You can use it to return to the entrance. Since there aren't any enemies to worry about, why don't you split up and search individually? Just tell other party members what you'd like them to do. Press the square button to issue orders to your allies. You gotta help. Which order will you give? Split up. Use this command to instruct your party members to spread out and look for stairs, access points, and items. However, if they are not very strong, they can be they can easily fall to fall prey to the enemy. Be sure to keep an eye on their HP. Okay, help. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Uh, uh, okay. But bye, bye, I guess. I found the access point. What do you want to do? Uh Let's keep going. Okay, then I'll look around some more. Okay. Uh regroup, regroup, regroup. Everyone return to the leader. Hey, Yukari. Nice to see you again. Hmm? What's wrong? Uh, not nothing. Hey, Junpei, my man. No, come here. I want to talk to you. Yo, what's up? Uh, not nothing. You just want to say hi? Okay, I guess we'll just leave. Ah, this is what that was. Good. You found the access point. Please return to the entrance. Hold on. All right. Here you go, bro. Take the medicine. Oh, okay. So at yeah. this point, he just passes you the stuff. Okay. Maybe you go. Up, maybe you even go upstairs. You'll get the stuff back. Welcome back. So, how was it? Uh. I'm exhausted. I don't know about this. No problem. No problem. We, we did just fine. No problem. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power. We kicked some ass. But damn, I'm beat. <laughs> that's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. <laughs> Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. You mean we all got a lot? Go we all got out alive. Thank you. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. Akihiko, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. She keeps stepping on your damn toes. Your damn shoes, man. I need to buy you a new pair on me, alright? <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, good. Right back at her. 
what I expect. Oh. Okay. A mysterious voice rings in your head. Yo, naked guy off the knapsack with the dog. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the full arcana. The C social link has reached level 2. Your power to create personas of the full arcana have grown. It uh, has grown. Lobby music. Okay, not quite. Uh, well, what? I now have a little health bar. So. I'm feeling tired. Let's go back. Jinpei, bro? Dude, I can't take it anymore. I'm starving. You want my strudel? I bought one in like. Oh. <laughs> How long has it been since I bought that damn strudel? It's been like two weeks. Hope it's doing alright. Hey, can I go talk to Igor again? <laughs> Uh, oh. Interesting. Ah, there you are. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Well, I suppose it's time for me to explain what I really do here. It is my job to create new personas, but in order to do so, I must fuse your persona cards together. In other words, I shall merge them into a single persona. The number of personas you have buried within you is approximately 170. Never seen a visitor with this many possibilities before. If you establish social links, you may be able to create even stronger personas too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh god. This should prove very interesting. So. As you accumulate cards, please bring them to me. How may I help you? I wish to leave. I look forward to your next visit. I do too. I look forward to my own, my next visit as well. Goodbye, Igor and Elizabeth. And we can save. Can I touch the bike again? Okay, okay. I want to talk to you. From now on, you'll select your party here before you enter Tartarus. I'll explain the details some other time. T uh, très bien. You did very well today. Now, let's head back to the dorm. Akiko? You guys did a great job, but... You won't have to shoulder the burden forever. T if only I hadn't gotten injured. We can, we can go a little bit longer if you want. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna safety save here in case... The, uh, you know, the next checkpoint is a long time away, so bear with me for a second. <laughs>